Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on the end of week recap for the week ending October 5th, 2018. Wow, what a week it has been, you guys. If you're looking for a top in the S&P 500, you just haven't seen it. But there are some signs right now in the market that show us that we might be looking at a small pullback uh, in the S&P. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the chart here in the S&P 500. So looking back at the S&P, uh, clear back since April, we have not really seen a significant pullback in the market since about uh, April, May of this year. You can see we've just been on a constant uptrend. But as of today and of yesterday, uh, we're starting to see some breaking down of the S&P 500. So uh, yesterday we closed below that 21 period moving average. Uh, you can see the 21 period moving average right here on that white line. And then today we actually continued on that decline where we actually came down and touched that 50 period moving average, uh, but then actually closed above it. So, uh, you know, some signs of some possible breakdown in the S&P. Uh, the economy is strong, though. And uh, so, you know, just uh, in saying that, I say, you know, I always say trade small, trade accordingly, because you never know. Uh, what could happen make sure you're trading uh, smart out there you guys so anyway this this today has been uh, an incredible day so the Dow Jones uh, dropped 180 points in fact at one point today they were down as much as 325 points but it did make a some somewhat of a recovery today so we closed 180 points down uh, the US the US economy added 134,000 jobs in September uh, well below the expected gain of 185,000. However, the U.S. unemployment rate fell to its lowest rate since 1969. So there's a lot of a lot of things going on, a lot of good things in the market that are making this market strong. But there is also some things out there that might uh, indicate that we could be looking at a small uh, pullback. So uh, stocks fell today after the release of mixed unemployment data, which jolted interest rates higher. So you know, the interest rates are going up. Uh, that's shaking the market up a little bit because we've had such strong growth. And so the Fed has raised the rates and that's uh, put a little bit of a jolt in the market. And so we're going to be looking at uh, some different things like that. So anyway, let's get into it, you guys. Uh, let's just let's just start at the top of the list here. So we're looking at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, same story here. We uh, closed down yesterday and we closed down today. Came down and touched actually that 100 period moving average today. And then, uh, and then recovered slightly from that on the uh, the Nasdaq. Uh, looking at the Russell, uh, the 2,000 Russell share, the the ETF, the Russell ETF 2,000 shares. Uh, you can see that this has been in a decline since about the first of September. So this is, you know, you look to the Russell. Usually, it's kind of the first sign of the, you know, the overall market starting to, you know, this could give us a pretty good indication of, you know, maybe getting a heads up on some of these other major indexes but since september uh the beginning of september the russell has been trading down and in fact we're clear down to that 200 period moving average on the russell so we broke down below the 21 the 50 the 100 and now we're uh, we tagged that 200 period moving average today and we are starting to get some oversold signals here in the rsi looking at the uh, russell uh, so looking for a possible uh bottoming here or uh, maybe trading sideways for a little bit, but uh, anyway, let's take a now look at let's took let's look at the uh, Dow Jones Industrial now. So the Dow Jones uh, has shown some over uh, bought conditions, and you can see that right here on the RSI. We've been uh, looks like we've been overbought a couple of places here, and looking for a small pullback. Uh, the MACD is starting to uh, show signs of a possible uh, cross. And so looking for some, uh, maybe some downward pressure here on the Dow. Uh, the SPX or the, the uh, SPY, uh, the S&P 500, we already looked at that. We could see that yesterday and today we've traded down and uh, looking for some uh, possible continued down pressure on the S&P. Uh, oil today, uh, oil was uh, down just a little bit. You can see we had a small uh, doji almost candle here. Uh, we have been uh, overbought on the U.S. oil. You can see on our RSI, we're, uh, we've been overbought just a little bit. So maybe looking for a light, a light pullback in uh, U.S. oil. Gold today actually had a move upward. Uh, not much though. You can see it's just barely. I mean, we're up uh, 32 cents on gold today, which represents a 28 or a 0.28 percent, almost a quarter percent uh, 
of a of a move upward. Silver as well, up just almost a quarter percent, and uh, gained only four percent today. So uh, not much going on in the uh, in the uh, silver and gold area. Let's take a look now at the uh, sector spiders. So coming into the sector spiders, you can see that you know tech. Uh, pretty much everything was down today. Look at this. I mean, everything was was down. Uh, we got red across the board. So uh, tech down um, in the XLK down uh, 94 cents. We got the uh, biotech down a dollar 35. Um, XLY XLY uh, consumer discretionary down today. Also, uh, we've been and this whole week's been down on consumer discretionary. We've we're down here around that uh, 100 period moving average now. Uh, actually traded below it and then recovered it, uh, resting right there on that 100 period moving average. Uh, looking at materials, uh, materials has been in a downtrend and uh, looking for uh, continued downward pressure on materials. XLI, uh, the uh, industries, uh, industrial, I'm sorry, the industrial has been trading right here around that 21 uh, period moving average. Uh, pretty middle of the road for uh, industrials. Uh, financials. Financials kind of a mixed bag, uh, up and down, um, about middle of the road on the RSI and the MACD. Uh, healthcare, healthcare has been on a tear. You guys, look at this uh, healthcare. We have been trading up since clear back in about July. This has been just on a tear to the upside. Today, starting to show some signs of a pullback here. Uh, still above that 21 period moving average. We've been overbought on the uh, RSI uh, for quite some time. You can see that we've been trading above this uh, on the RSI here. I've been showing uh, overbought for quite some time. And so looking for a healthy pullback in XLV. Don't know if we'll get it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, now looking at the uh, consumer staples. Consumer staples. Um, well, we've been trading about uh, middle of the road here. If we zoom out on this map here, we can see we're right around that 200 period moving average. Uh, just trading right along that 200 period moving average. Uh, MACD crossover, we're down here about the middle of the road. Um, middle of the road on the RSI as well. Uh, energy, energy has been uh, moving to the upside. We're starting to get some possible overbought signals on the uh, RSI. And then XLU. Utilities was the only one that was up today out of all the major sector spiders. So taking a look at it here, you can see we got a MACD cross uh, about middle of the road on the RSI. But look at this big candle here on utilities. So we've had a lot of uh, movement here in the uh, utility sector. Uh, you can see on just looking at some of these, um, you know, sector spiders here, the technology. Look at all the red here in technology. Tech has been down. That's partly due to because of Amazon and Apple have been down, they've been lagging. There's been some uh, reports in the news about uh, the Apple having uh, been hacked and, and some of their computer chips being hacked. Uh, so that has caused some uh, a little bit of nervousness in the market. In fact, let's just take a look at Apple here while we're, while we're here. You can see that Apple's had a couple of down days. Don't let those green candles fool you. That's just part of the, uh, the um, a filter that I have on those candles, but those are down days on the candles. And obviously, you know, we had a high back here just on uh, the third, but it has traded down over the last couple of days since that news has come out. Uh, again, looking at utilities here, you can see the utilities. We had a lot of green on utilities. In fact, everything in that uh, sector has been green today. Uh, the transports, transports uh, kind of mixed, more red than green here, but. Uh, Looking at uh, those transports, healthcare. Obviously, like I was saying, we've had a lot of movement in healthcare, but starting to show some signs of weakness in healthcare just a little bit. Uh, energy. Uh, looking at energy here, we've got we've got about a, a mixed bag here on the energy. You can see about half and half. Looking at materials, uh, same thing, about half and half. Uh, so what we're looking at, guys, is just some. Uh, some uncertainty in the market right now uh, with with the news that is coming out. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on with the Supreme Court uh, justice nominee, and which is, I think, driving the market just a little bit. You know, it's just kind of putting some uncertainty out there. Uh, and so I think, you know, with, with all that going on and the interest rates going up, you can see that the market is starting to get a little bit, uh, you know, people are getting a little bit nervous. They're starting to sell. 
and uh, it's driving those markets down just a little bit. So we'll see what Monday brings. Uh, but I wanted to end this and just let you guys know, thanks so much for uh, always tuning in to uh, our videos. I hope you enjoy them. I enjoy making them. If you'd like to learn more about this and uh, you like what we're doing, please uh, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss out on any future updates. My name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Have a good one, you guys. We'll catch you next time. See ya.